<clears throat> Thank you for tuning in to the live coding or watching the video, tuning in, whatever. Anyway, we are working on LCD display, and yes, we have been going on this for a little while, but I think we just got to a great point. We have all of our characters, all of our digits represented, and we've been working on starting the multi-character, which totally didn't work how my original thoughts of just concatenating these structures would, but that's okay. We're finding a style. We're finding something that starts to work. We see, we're starting to see similarities. We're starting to see the pattern, and that is beautiful. I love patterns. I really, really do. And not the, I mean, I love the patterns of the Gang of Four book, but that's not the pattern we're talking about. We're talking about similarities in the code, and we want similar things to look more similar, which is what we're seeing here. So how do we make this work? How do we uh, continue this? How do we refactor this, clean it up so that we don't have this uh, hard coding because that's going to not work. Really, it's how do we get this? How do we get these? These are the only pieces that are missing. Well, a, a simple one is we need each digit individually. So we're going to take our input, not all caps though. We're going to take it at a string. Uh, flip that. Um, it's our digits. We're going to go for we're going to do for each digit and digits is that the right not the right do for each and digits char digit and digit okay. oh for each right wrong syntax i've been out of c sharp well i haven't done this for each loop as much i start to go into link i don't know i wasn't thinking clearly anyway for each digit we are going to uh 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 uh, uh. I'm actually going to do the char array. So right now I'm thinking I'm just calling LCDFI for each digit, but that's not going to quite work. It might though. It might. So I'm, I'm thinking about how I can just call digit uh, and get, so if we have this, input seven, eight, nine. So parse yeah, yeah we're, we're bouncing from string to digit back and forth a whole bunch, it's okay. CDFI. Remember, we can do whatever we want, mostly, um, if it's going to get us to a good state. So string result equals LCDFI. So I need that up here. String result equals. Add that as an empty string. Now, um, just call it display. Give me an empty string, and we're just going to assign it. We don't really, that's not really what we want to do. We want add next digit. That's what we want. Get our current digit. Use this little trick. Do stuff in there. Okay. Display is going to be our display. And our curve. Well, that's 
just called LCD. LCD did it. We're going to give it our LCD digit. And we're going to do that every time. Now that breaks for some reason. I'm expecting. Okay, I actually don't know why that one's breaking. That one's really weird. Ah, out of range exception. Interesting. Ah. Our index. Okay. So then we can just go. He's no one empty. Oh. If result or empty result, then just return the digit itself. There we go. Hey, how's that work? Yes. Well, yes. Okay. So if we haven't said anything yet, just give us back what we gave you. Seems reasonable. Makes everything work. Um, what if we now just return display? Does that work? It works. Um, that seems to be fairly generic for 24 in put equals 0.3. Does it work? It works. Um, or input equals 10. Okay. So and this is really if input is greater than or equal to 10. For everything except these. I'm not a big fan of this multicasting here. So really, what if we? That's not wrong. Let's extract single digit. And what if instead of an int, we give it a char? So let me let me uh good bit of a bigger factor here. I'm not sure how I can actually do that safely. So that's uh, not the factor. Okay. We don't have any. We don't find it. Return zero. Okay, we got char. So, but instead of this casting, let's do string cd digit equals single digit digit. Okay, so we've taken out a little bit of the hackery manipulation there with your single digit int, which we don't really need you anymore. So what if what if we kill this? Okay. So we've gotten rid of that. We return display. We don't need to return that single digit anymore. We have our single digit char. You don't actually have any references. And we have this. So I would say now we, we're done. We can LCDFI everything. We got three digits, two digits, one digits. They all continue to function we have and uh, we go down here we're all green all our check marks are green so bam done fantastic 
I honestly had no idea how long it was to take. This is literally the first time I've ever done this problem. Um, and even though I had a massive misconception about just being able to concatenate, we kind of can and kind of independent. So there are, there are a lot of micro objecty ways, which something you may hear me talk about it's on my blog. It's my main development practice. Uh, but a lot of ways we can modify this and probably clean it up, in my opinion. Uh, but we're not going to do that today. Uh, today, we are going to accept that we have fantastically gotten it to work for all cases, at least all ones I can think of. So, all right, thank you. And uh, until next time.